Hello everybody, Luther Fukio, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Resident Evil 4. Now, before anyone says anything, yes, I have done this game before on the channel about a year ago or two years ago, something like that. And ever since Capcom announced um, the remake of Resident Evil 4 coming out next year in March, I looked back at my playlist and I have to be honest, I wasn't too happy with it. So all the videos have pretty much been deleted along with the live stream and I've decided to do the to come back to this game and do it justice. And also, we're in October, and I had nothing planned for Halloween this year. Uh, well, Halloween live stream this year, and that might change. I might have some idea of what game or horror game I might do. That again, I I don't know whether that, yeah I might change my mind on that yet or not, or I probably might just leave it entirely and just you know wait until Ragnarok comes out in November and just not do a Halloween live stream this year that may change they might not change I don't want to get your hopes up just in case so we'll see we'll see but let's head into a new game now I have beaten this game on professional with some help from two of my friends and I've got to be honest, I didn't think it would be this diff that difficult playing it on professional. And so let's just say maybe one or two boss fights on professional was very frustrating on certain levels. And I'm just, just like, yeah, you know what? I'm never going to beat this game again on professional unless, you know, unless they make certain changes. <laughs> In the remake on professional mode, I don't know. Yeah, I had a lot of issues with uh, professional, especially until the last part of the game. I yeah, I was doing fine until yeah, maybe the last act of the game, and I just kept on dying regardless because you have no tactical vest on professional mode, and it was really pissing me off. <laughs> the fact that I kept dying on the last two boss fights and I had to redo everything all over again. It was just, yeah, it was not fun. So even though I've beaten the game once on professional, I am never playing professional again until um, the remake comes out. That might change. I probably might play professional in my own time once the remake comes out next year. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> We'll see. I probably might. I probably might change my opinion on that, but we'll see. Resident Evil Four. Nineteen ninety-eight. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets me short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. 
You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. But before we do that, let's go to the files. Info on Ashley. Name, Ashley Graham. Age, 20. Daughter of the United States President. She was kidnapped by an unidentified group while on her way home from university. The kidnapper's motives are still unknown, although there is reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider. Only a handful of people know about this kidnapping. It's been kept under wraps, mostly due to the fact that we can't determine who the traitor is. The guys in intelligence say they have reliable information that Ashley's been sighted somewhere in Europe, but until we find out who the insider is, I don't know what to believe. It could be a ploy or a trap. We have very few leads as to the whereabouts of Ashley, but members of the Secret Service and anyone else related to Ashley are being questioned by an investigative team. Even active agents are being investigated for any information. It's just a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed. Hmm. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, 
end of a wave. This old truck's blocking the trail. Maybe it belongs to one of the villagers around here. Hmm. Sorry to say. But before I go into this house over here, if I walk back and go over this bridge, this happens. That way, cowboy. You know what? Fuck you. Forget your makeup or something? No. No, I did not. I just wanted to, you know, talk to you. But. I hear a crow somewhere. Hmm. Also, someone's watching me, I think. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. He's not a zombie. Hmm. Looks like they've killed a lot of people. I hope Ash is okay. I don't think so, boy. We'll load that. I search a chest over here. But that does not look good. Bridges out. I can't go back this way. Where are the officers? I hope they got out in time. Hmm. That remains to be seen.
the hell a dog? You're welcome. Now, if you go off the beaten path here, there should be a red herb somewhere. Oh, it's over here. Now, I did pick up a green herb. And if I do this, along with this, along with this, we'll get more room. Oh, what does this say? A guy post reads Pablo, which means probably the village is this way or something like that. Un forastero! That's what you get for walking into your own traps. How very clumsy of you. Oh. Oh damn. Someone died a very painful death. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find it fast. I've been spotted! That's not good. Hello. Okay. Give me all the money in the world! question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Oh, pardon me. Let's go say hi. the thing <laughs> definitely the time I don't get along with Um, 
Mr. Chainsaw Man, don't kill me! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Get it sold on! Oh dear! Oh no! Oh goodness! Oh shit! Time for shotgun time. <laughs> Shit, I don't have another good name. Oh, you missed. Run, Leon, run! Oh, boy! <laughs> La campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. <laughs> Lord Sattler. Where's everyone going? Bingo? That's a good question. Where is everyone going? Hunnigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. I have no ammo left to the shotgun. Yeah, I'm pretty much I've looted this place anyway. Well, not well the house anyway. Time to loot this area. Oh, right up. I think there's a yeah, there's a green hoe around there as well. Yep. What a sinister looking fellow. Leon, you just... 
Well, yeah, you really need to make your mind up because at one point you, you know, insulted the picture and now you're saying like, oh, what an, an sinister looking fellow. It's like you can't make your mind up. Pretty sure that's yeah. Give me money. Shotgun ammo. Right, I'm pretty sure there's shotgun ammo in this church, if I remember correctly. Yup. Jumping down. What in God's name, if he only came with me, well, come with me. Uh, I'm afraid it's already a little bit too late for that, Leon, because, you know, he's slowly burning to... Slowly burning to death, which is, you know, unfortunate. Okay, I think now I can load. Okay, so there. Oh boy, I'm run. I'm already running out of room. Uh, there. Uh, shit. Right there. Right there. Full like heal, like that, and we're good. Ah, more handgun ammo. Oh, what's this? Alert order. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you who are not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. I know I don't really want to be in here, but no. Oh, hello. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I'm too... I'll take that. About the blue medallions. Fifteen blue medallions. Seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. For those of you who destroyed ten or more will be awarded. The rest are or is eligible. And luckily enough for me, I don't know where all of them are. So, I've already got that one on the tree. There's one there. Now, if you go over here... Take that. Who told you you could sneak on me? Well, sneak up on me? Because I certainly didn't. This one here. Oh, that's four people. I can't believe this. They were all dead bodies. Well, these are all dead bodies. That's unfortunate. I got that one there. Should be one up here. Oh. I'm pretty sure there's one more in the area. That one missed. Six. There we go. That should be all of them. Now, if you jump down here, once you get go off the um, breathing path, you can't go through that door yet, unfortunately. Because obviously it's locked. Another spell. Another light as well. Now 
And if you jump down here, you get the beer stein. Almost pressed the wrong buttons. <sighs> oh, that was a fail. Oh, that was a fail. Right, I am probably going to leave it with a cliffhanger. And obviously a good way to end the video by getting chased by a certain boulder. <laughs> Anytime you get chased by a boulder, you can't resist but to sing an Indiana Jones theme song <laughs> or theme tune. But either way, I hope that you enjoyed this very first part of the video. Um... Like I said, um, I'm pretty sure everyone is looking forward to watching all horror films during the spooky season of October. You know, we got Halloween Ends coming out at some point in next week. I think it's coming out next week. Somewhere around there. I'm pretty sure it's coming out next week. Or the week after that. You've got, you know, Resident Evil Showcase is also coming out at some point. We've got God of War Ragnarok is also coming out. Not that far now left for it to come out. Along with two other horror games like the remake of Resident Evil 4 and um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. But with that being said, please leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Resident Evil 4. And until the next time, we'll see you.